Hey guys, I uh, hope everybody had a good Christmas, good holidays. Um, hadn't uploaded any reviews lately because I've been with the family and hanging out with them. So, anyway, uh, <clears throat> this review is going to be on Excess Sight Systems 24 7 Big Dot Tritium Express Set, which is for the Glock 19. <clears throat> and basically, what this is is a sighting system. You know, many claim it's for quick acquisition. It's putting the golf ball on the tee, dotting the I, however you want to do it, or however you want to describe it. But they use uh, two different ways of, of shooting far and close. I've actually found that these sights are way more accurate than most people tend to believe. So there's that. But let's get a look. All right, make sure that's clear. <clears throat> Nothing in there, nothing in there. We're good to go. All right. Here they are. I got, I went with the 24-7. Um, mainly because the tritium is also in the back, which you're not going to be able to see because of this light. But let's see if you can see the front. Here, let's, let's do that. Yep. Nope, doesn't want to pick up. That's a cool camera. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> well, basically, this line glows. This tritium line glows on the back and up front. And <clears throat> the good thing about these sights is they're very, very fast. I mean, that that huge white dot catches your eye very, very fast. So... Pretty much, um, the installation of these sites is very, very, very easy. Um, so easy a caveman can do it. And let me go through this real quick. Comes with all the instructions you need. All of the tools you need. So that's it. Um, one thing I'll say about Glock sights is I never understood why people were so anti Glock sight. I thought that, and excuse my hands, I've been barbecuing. So, <laughs> um, anyway, see the look, they have a little metal insert. You might be able to see this. Let me. You see that sight? How mushroomed out it is? That's what I did with a plastic punch. Trying to get it out of there. Exactly like they tell you to. Look. Here's the punch. Didn't do anything at all to the punch. Perfectly fine. That's how crappy Glock sights are. <laughs> but, comes with... Comes with the red Loctite. Comes with a tool to remove the, and install the front sight. So if you ever do it on any other Glock pistols, you already have the tools and a little Allen wrench to tighten up the rear sights. So let's get that out of the way. All right. <clears throat> you can see here they have two holes. Two holes in the rear sight. What you do is you knock this Glock sight out, put this one in, tighten those two down very, very uh, lightly, and get once you get it centered, and then put red Loctite around this. Same thing with the front. But these are uh, defensive sights, is what they're claimed to be. But one thing that I found is that they are very, very accurate for what they look like. Um, most people say that these are only defensive sides, you can't shoot far with them. And that may be true at like, you know, 100, 150 yards or whatever. But I gotta say, I shot them at 25 yards and my grouping was as good, if not better, than my Trijicon HDs. Which, you know, surprised me a whole lot. But, <clears throat> um, one thing is I was worried that it wouldn't fit in a holster because of the sight channel. But as you can see there, there is, let me get it, there you go. 
there's plenty of room comes in and out easily so no problem there let's compare it to compare it to the Trigicon HDs all right nothing in there nothing in there <clears throat> all right I'm gonna try my best to uh, get this lined up for you okay come on all right that's the difference in sight size the white dot is definitely bigger and one thing that I noticed is you see all that there we go you see all that black around the Trigicon HD site that's not there um, on the excess big dots it's just the dot so it doesn't take up as much of your target even though the site's bigger um, let's see negatives uh, one one of the negatives is that you can't with this rear sight you can't basically sight it in before you permanently attach it so the Loctite actually holds the sight in well the only problem I have with that is I can't take it, shoot it, move it, take it, shoot it, move it. I have to basically just line it up, lock tight it in, and then deal with it. Luckily, I mean, I didn't really have to compensate at all. It's right on, but I just got it lined up with the slide and then took it to the range and shot it. Everything worked great. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's the excess big dots. 24-7 Tritium Express, Tritium in the front and back, and uh, you can find these on eBay. I went ahead and got the 24-7 series instead of the regular series, which only has the Tritium in the front. I got both just because it was just a little bit more, and I didn't. I just wanted to be sure that I, I got the best thing that I wanted. So anyway, pretty cool. Um, check them out if you're interested really like them a lot and thanks guys uh that's it for today but please like share and subscribe if you like the video i will be coming out with a lot more soon i just got a bunch of christmas money and of course that went directly into the gun fund <laughs> so i've got ar triggers i've got knife sharpeners all kinds of stuff coming up um but i really appreciate your support thanks